It's Mandy. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I said I was going to be back today and here I am. My first video was really brief. Um, I just wanted to show you guys that I got Little Miss Miriam um, all fixed up. That's the video that's before this one. That is um, me showing my, uh, my new Paradise Galleries baby who is Storytime baby. Um, so anyway, I did that one this morning. That was a really, really brief little video. And so now we're going to do the video that I promised that we would do. Let me get my legs crossed here. Um, and that is going to be a blanket reveal of a baby that just arrived um, last night. So... Um, I went ahead and opened her. I just kind of wanted to, I was really, really excited about her and I just, I didn't feel like making a video late last night and I just wanted to open her by myself and just enjoy her um, and just greet her, you know, on my own. But we're going to do a, um, a blanket reveal. But first off, if you're new here, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe. Um, I am going to be doing a uh, giveaway at 3,000 subscribers. We're quite a ways off from that, so it'll be a little while, but it is a doll. It's a beautiful um, vintage Lee Middleton doll. Um, and then if you do like this video, I would just please ask that you give it a thumbs up because it does help my videos get noticed. And if you have a dolly channel, um, if you'll let me know, I would love to subscribe to you. Um, I hardly ever get to have time to watch videos myself, but um, I would be so happy to be part of your own Dolly family and subscribe to you. So let me know if you have a channel. Um, so anyway, I am going to tell you first off that I adopted this baby um, pre-loved. I am her second mommy. Um, and what's really exciting about this, um, this adoption is that, um, her artist has a YouTube channel. So I am going to link uh, this artist's, um, YouTube channel in the description of the video. And hopefully if she sees this video, that would be really exciting if she did, but if she sees this video, um, she can come say hi. But anyway, this is by Pumpkin Sparkle Babies. So I know a few of you have it, have um, babies by her in the community. Um, her name is Chelsea Pierce, but yeah, she is Pumpkin Sparkles Babies. Um, and she has a website called PumpkinSparklesBabies.com. And so um, this little girl's original mommy um, sent me the card that Chelsea sent to her. Um, which, uh, this is very cute considering her nursery name. It's pretty clever to include a little card with pumpkins on it. It's really pretty. Pretty little watercolor painting. Um, and I'm just gonna show you first her, um, her certificate of, um, birth. This is a birth certificate. It says, Pumpkin Sparkles Babies. Certificate of Authenticity. Your baby was painted by Chelsea Pierce. And then here is this little girl's actual COA. So she is real born Carol asleep. Um, she was born on July 28th of 23 at 555. Um, she is four pounds. She's 19.5 inches. And, um, but yeah, she is the real born Carol asleep. Um, and, um, I have admired this sculpt for a while. Every time I see it, I just think that is the sweetest little face. And what's kind of funny is that I've been watching this baby. So her, her previous mom, um, her name is, I think, Sweet Honeybees. Um, she has a Reborns.com account. She's very reasonable, you guys. I was really happy with um, the presentation of the box opening she sent, which I'm going to show you guys her box opening, but first I am going to show you the baby and then I'm going to show you what she came with. Um, but I had kind of watched her on Reborns.com for a while. Um, and 
uh, I watched her price just kind of like slowly creep down and then um, a few days ago um, she was at a really 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 budget friendly price included shipping and I couldn't um, couldn't stop talk to Joe and he gave me the go ahead and I got her so let me move my leg because my leg is kind of like going numb um that's what happens when you're when you're pretty uh plump and you sit with your legs crossed so anyway let me show you guys what she looks like what's funny is I told you guys I was probably never going to have a baby like this again and here I am with one so can you tell what kind of baby she is when I lift up her legs? <laughs> if you're saying cuddle baby, you're right. This is a cuddle baby. And this is my first experience with a Reggie body. Um, so, but before we look at her body, let's just go ahead and show you her face. Are you guys ready? I love her, you guys. I hope you love her as much as I do because I held her all last night. I held her all this morning. I was even like making my coffee and everything and holding her because I didn't want to put her down. So, okay. One, two, three. Look at her. Oh, isn't she cute? Let me take her little hat off so you can see her sweet, sweet hair. So she has um, the sweetest complexion. I um, I have never had a baby from Chelsea. Um, this is my first Pumpkin Sparkles baby. But I really, really love how um, newborn red she is. I know that that's not everybody's cup of tea, but it sure is mine. <laughs> Uh, her face is so sweet, you guys. I love this sculpt. I just love how peaceful and serene she looks. Um, but she, her, but her little cheeks and her little face are so red, and I, I just love it. Um, she's got delicate little painted brows. Actually, she may not even have painted brows. Actually, I don't think she has brows, which is still realistic. <laughs> she's got pale little rooted lashes. Um. And let me show you her hair. Let's turn her head. Her head her turns so good. She has got this curly, I believe it's called Slumberland Mohair. Um, I watched uh, Chelsea's video when she made her because, like I said, Chelsea has a, a reborn, um, gosh, Chelsea has a YouTube channel. And I watched her when she revealed her, but I believe it's called Slumberland Mohair. And it is um, this really soft, curly mohair. And at some point, I'm going to have to wet it down and use like a toothbrush. Because um, you said it looks best when it's been freshly wetted down. But I actually really like how kind of like fuzzy it is. <laughs> but it's kind of two-toned. Some of it is like this white blonde. And then some of it is kind of like a much darker blonde. But she has got, her nose has been darkened for realism. Her little ears are so beautifully painted. I just love little details like that. Um, and her finish is just so, um, it is so soft. It is so soft. But it's, it, it reminds me of like baby powder. And I know I say that a lot, but I love this type of, um, of, of varnish that is it just feels like baby powder it feels like soft freshly powdered baby skin <laughs> but so she's on a Reggie body so she's a cuddle baby if you are new to reborns or new to cuddle babies what a cuddle baby is is it is the vinyl head or sometimes it's a silicone head but then the body is made of cloth um, and they're really really good for posing and I had said that I really didn't want any more cuddle babies because they're hard for me to change. But I had never had a Reggie Ann body before. Um, and Reggie, the Reggie Ann bodies are much easier to, um, I've heard that they're much easier to change. So the Reggie bodies are like jointed. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll up her little gown. She came in this really, really sweet little sleeping gown. And I'm just going to show you um, 
what her little legs look like um, so that you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. She is jointed. She has got jointed legs. Let's just lift that up over her little, her little body. But her little legs are jointed. They're attached by just kind of like a thin sewn line right here. And then um, they're very, very poseable. They're nice and heavy. So she, um, her body just sinks right into mine when I hold her. Um, she, I am kind of losing her to the boppy. So let's just move her up. But look at her little legs. And um, some people don't like the Reggie bodies um, because they find them a little too, like, floppy. But I really like them. I really, really like this. This is my first experience, and I love it. Um, but she's got a little diaper on, and I thought she had a onesie on, but I don't think she does. I don't think she has a onesie on. Um, but she came with quite a few things and I'm going to change her on camera, um, later. I'm actually going to have her back for tomorrow for Sleepy Baby Sunday. So she'll be back tomorrow. Um, but I'm going to show you what came in her box. Let me just get her little gown back over her little legs and just straighten her back out. But look, look how cute she poses, you guys. Look at that. Look how cute cute that is. I mean, that is so darn sweet. Um, I just, I just love her. I just love her. She melted my heart as soon as I opened her, but I have just been holding her almost nonstop. So she came with this really sweet knitted pink hat on her and she's wearing a very pale pink little sleep gown, little sleep sack. Um, and she came wrapped up in this pretty pink blanket that's right here. This is my own blanket. So let me show you what she came with. Um, she came with a cute little pack of Carter's Just One You headbands. There's a gray one. They're flowered. There's gray, um, white, pink, and navy blue. Really cute colors. And then she came with two pairs of mittens which are great because she's a cuddle baby. So cute little like blues and whites and pinks that are on these. And this one actually says, love you, which is cute. Um, and then she came with, this was wrapped around her, holding her in place, little pink headband. It was wrapped around her blanket. And then a really, really super cute. Let me show you this together. So I have to think that this outfit came directly from Chelsea at Pumpkin Sparkles because it is a <laughs> it is a pink Lila and Jack sleeper um, and it has little orange pumpkins on it along with cute little pink flowers. Um, the background is like palest, palest pink you can imagine. It's got really, really soft, soft, soft mauve trim. Um, around the little ruffle sleeves and around the collar. It's got long sleeves and it's got little pumpkins on it. And then it's also got little background of um, little flowers here and there. Um, but she came with a sparkly pumpkin hair bow. So I have to think that this came from her artist. And I think that that's a really cute and uh, clever little personal touch. Isn't that cute? That's going to be cute. We'll set that aside and then she came with a, another little sleeper I think this is so cute it's gray and it it's got like a gray flannel material and then it's got little orange blossoms all over it little greenery um, just really really nice quality sleeper it's a koala baby zero to three and I think zero to three is probably gonna fit her pretty well but she's probably also gonna fit a newborn too I bet and then she came with this cute little sleeper. This is another zero to three. This is the prettiest shade of blue. It's like a blue flannel sleeper with white polka dots. And then um, the feet and this little heart that's across the middle is uh, a floral fabric. And so is the trim around the, um, the cuffs and the neck. Really pretty, soft. Everything smelled so good. Again, this came from a seller called Sweet Honey Bees. 
everything smelled so good. Um, I have had two babies that have come, one I've shown you and one I haven't, um, that came with some pretty, like some dirty items and some smelly things and so it was so nice to open up this box and have this beautiful sweet smelling <laughs> presentation. And then she has the cutest little passy clip. She's got a little peach passy that has um, a cute little turtle with a bird on its back. So there's her passy. She's got a good strong magnet. And then this has a cute little peach and gray ribbon attached to it. And it's got a little clip. And the little clip has a little turtle and like a little snail. So we can clip that. I'm not sure how to use this. Oh, now I see. Now I see. So we can just, it's kind of like the sliding type clip. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I think that was everything. Yes, that was everything. So this was such a sweet and thoughtful box opening. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to link Chelsea, who's the artist, Pumpkin Sparkle Babies. I'm going to link her in the title of the video. But then I'm also going to link the seller in the description. Um, I'm going to link her Reborns.com store. Uh, because you guys should take a look because um, she definitely is a wonderful, um, trustworthy seller in my opinion. Um, and some of you have been asking where do I adopt my Reborns? Um, most of the time, 99% of the time, um, it's Reborns.com, which I really recommend uh, Reborns.com. And also, if you are new to this hobby, and you are not sure where to get started, you've heard about people getting scammed. I do have a um, a three or four part, I can't remember now if it's three or four parts. I have a three or four part series on how to not get scammed and reputable places where you can buy dolls. If you look through my videos, um, you can find that series. If I can remember, which sometimes I don't, I will put the, um, I'll put the link to the um the series in the description of the video so anyway you guys um that is it for today and i will tell you what her name is tomorrow um it's very close to what her little kit name is but yeah i'll tell you what her name is tomorrow and we'll get her changed into one of these really cute little outfits that got sent with her so but she is so sweet, you guys. Look at her. <laughs> She's just one of those babies that makes me feel like really tender-hearted whenever I look at her. I just love her. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. And I will talk to you guys later. So until then, take care. Take care of each other. And I will see you in the next one. Alright guys, love you. Bye. Bye.